Morley Radio is the community radio station for Morley College London and we aim to engage with not just with the students but also with staff, with the local communities and also the communities of practice. So we have content from students wanting to come to us and record a sort of short show where they have an idea and they want to kind of use it as part of some of their assignments but we also have uh, professional presenters and professional producers come to us and develop content for us and with us. Uh, I'm Camilo Salazar, I'm Morley Radio Manager. Radio is an excellent way to engage with people. Um, you don't need to engage visually in order to uh, have that connection with the, with the program or with the show. So you can take radio anywhere really. Pop your headphones in and listen and engage from anywhere. So I'm Cody and I am a radio production assistant for Molly Radio. I love the live aspect of things and that performance base and yeah on a wider scale it's, it's really interesting to kind of get people's voices heard across the world. So it's, it's really exciting for me because I started Morley Radio from scratch, from, from a discussion with, with, this, with the chief executive about having radio at Morley. Um, so we went from the basic idea to looking at specs, looking at studio building, talking to different consultants. So for me, I feel really passionate about that. But also, I, as, a, as, a, as an educator, I feel very passionate about giving people a voice and giving them the tools to feel confident about themselves, about what they can do, about what they can achieve. So I really enjoy doing In the Company Of um, at the moment, which is a show where people are interviewed about their lives, um, what they do at Morley, which is where we're based, and sort of their interests. And I find it's really interesting to hear what people are actively doing. Morley Radio is part of Morley College London. And at the moment we have three centres. The college has three centres, so the radio station is also embedded as part of each of the centres. We have a studio in Waterloo, we have a studio in North Kensington, we have a studio in Chelsea, all of them in London. A lot of college radio stations run by the student union, so they're completely run by the students. And it is a, it's a fantastic model, but the challenge with that sometimes is that you will get, you will depending on whoever is coming in on the students' time. Well, uh, Molly Radio, we have a small team, but we have a permanent team and we drive that content. We engage with the students, but we are, we're here to make sure that the facilities work, we're here to make sure that the content is constantly coming out. So that is slightly different. Um, and also we give them a professional standard uh, in terms of the studio bill, but also in terms of the equipment, is industry standard equipment. So when our students leave Morley College, they will be prepared to, to work in the industry. I definitely find that a lot of the stuff that we have is industry standard. So it is great to kind of come from my background where I was doing audio engineering and find that I have equipment to work with that I'm comfortable with and I know I'm very knowledgeable about. And I find that it's, it's very high quality equipment that we do definitely use. Uh, well, what, some of the challenges are that there is so much information, but there are also lots of different platforms that offer ways of broadcasting, um, sort of for internet radio. So it was always very difficult to kind of look at the different companies, look at the different platforms and see what, was, what suited our needs best. Well, Radio.co has been fantastic because one of the reasons we chose Radio.co is because the, the platform is really easy to use. It's, it has a lot of content to support people especially if they're people who want to start a new show or a new radio station. There's a lot of content on their website, a lot of helpful guides from purchase, how to purchase your first microphone or how to choose your first microphone, all the way to how to stream, how to get your content uploaded. And that was one of our reasons because of the, the, the amount of resources they offer their, their customers. If it was for me as a radio manager, the one tool that is really useful for me is looking at statistics. So looking at the listener figures, looking at where people are listening from, how many people are listening, that is the part that for me personally is a really useful tool. People can tune in to Morley Radio in multiple ways. So we have lots of different types of content. Uh, one is the live content, which is our live playlist or live shows with our DJs. People can tune in via either the app, which has been uh, designed for us by Radio.co, so I absolutely love using the Morley Radio app. I actually use it while I'm working. So if I'm doing stuff like making content for social media, I will listen to Morley Radio on the Morley Radio app. I also find that it's really useful for when I'm doing live shows so I can hear the actual play out. Or going to our website, uh, morleyradio.co.uk. You click on listen now and you'll get a player, which is also a radio.co player, and you'll be able to hear the live stream.
just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me? Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.